Hey guys, it's Nick from Sleek Central, and this is the first tutorial on this channel. Uh, so this tutorial is fairly simple and is uh, mostly made for uh, newbies that want to get into like either art, uh, illustration, Illustrator, and other Adobe software. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to convert your text into a shape and tell you a little bit why this is useful. So first let's open Adobe Illustrator here. I got the CS6 version. Uh, this was also work on CS5.5, CS5, and I also think CS4. And but I don't, I can't assure you CS4, CS3, or uh, further down um, than CS5. Sorry about that. But first, let's just open a blank canvas here. Here we go, and select your type tool by pressing T or hover over the type tool here and clicking it. So just click on your document and write anything. I'm going to write Sleek Central uh, for no particular reason, uh, but here we go. Um, just expand it uh, to 100 points here, uh, and you can do this in two ways. Uh, you can either change the font size up here or select the oh, sorry, uh, selection tool and just click and drag on the corners while holding shift to um, contain the same or right proportions. So here we go, we got our text, and uh, uh, for most people this is okay uh, when you're not supposed to create more. If I just had a, let's say, a circle here, and just a picture in there, and I only wanted some text under it, I'm done, right? I can just color, change font, whatever, and I'm done. But if you want to create something more than that, and like make something that is not in a font, or manipulate letters, and... Uh, other among other things then this is particularly useful so I'm going to delete the circle here and um, show you how to do this so right now it's just text I can change color on individual letters just like that or change the color of the whole thing right but I want to do more than that I want to extend uh, make the S bigger um, and I want to drag and drag this further down so how do I do that well it's fairly simple just make sure you have the selection tool out, uh, which you can also choose by pressing V on your keyboard, and click on Civic Central or whatever you've written, and go to type up here. Uh, this is the same on Windows and on a Mac, so don't worry. Go down to create outlines, which you can also um, create by using the hotkeys Command, Shift, and O. And this will um, then create the outlines. And by the way, if you're on the PC, it's Control Shift and O, I think. So uh, don't worry. And uh, here we go. You now got outlines. And uh, for those of you who don't understand why it's called outlines, uh, it's because that uh, now it's no longer a font. It's a drawing, right? So these uh, points here are anchor points and the lines between them are paths so what uh, what the software has done is to create all these um, necessary anchor points and then draw lines between them to create the letters and then when the shape is complete it's filled with the color you already chosen which was for me automatic black so now it's black and I could cha change the fill on it to blue uh, darker blue, uh, red, oh, that was actually purple, but you get the idea. So now it's basically done the same thing as I did with the font. But now I have a lot more room for creativity. I can go to the direct selection tool by pressing A or hovering over it like every time. And now if I zoom in a bit on the S here, uh, you can now see that all these dots or the anchor points are here and those are the ones I can manipulate uh, and if I click on one of these and drag uh, you need to double click by the way just uh, you can you see her I can drag this around and I can do like this to uh, change the shape where I can extend it a little bit uh, just like this and I want to also do this here and I'm not doing this very uh, very pretty or with a lot of thought. I'm just doing something to show how to use this um, and why it's useful. So just like this and I'm gonna do the same thing here just gonna drag it over here and make it just like that and I'm also gonna grab the K here 
and maybe uh, pull that up, up here. Uh, and you see what I'm doing here. I'm just um, using the other letters to uh, choose where I'm going. And the reason I'm doing uh, the reason why I'm doing this is to create something unique, something special, and something that is not um, normal with the font to create a little more personal and uh, a little more creative logo you might say because this actually works pretty much like a logo so now I've done some small little editing here and if I zoom out right now you can see that this looks nothing like or does like uh, it has some similarities but you can see here that this is clearly different right and that took me what like a couple minutes not even that and now I actually have a logo here uh, and this also react better to other shapes like circles, triangles, or whatever. Uh, so this is very, very, very useful if you want to create some some logos or anything uh, uh, in that genre. So keep that in mind. And uh, if you have any problems or any questions on your mind right now, just ask them in the comments, and I will be sure. Uh, be sure that I will reply to you, uh, no matter either uh, through a new tutorial or. Uh, personal message or answer in the comments, whatever. Uh, I will come back to you. So um, please leave some feedback if you like these or whatever. Uh, just, uh, yeah, do as you want, basically. Um, have a good day. And this was Sleek Central's first tutorial about how to, um, how to convert your text into a shape. So thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you later.